guys and welcome to a brand new Edge Retro Geek Out. We're over at Roomship, the toy shop, which is Norwegian for spaceship. So from the outside, the store doesn't look too big, but once we're in, wow. I think we're traveling back in time to the 90s because look at this. This is what I've dreamed about for, for so long. Just like a wall of carded stuff. Yeah. Big glass cases, everything's displayed really well, and there is a wall of just 90s goodness. You got G.I. Joe is on card, James Bond Jr., Bucky O'Hare's. There's a ton of really cool stuff. This just brings me back to like the early 90s when you would see this in regular stores. Maddie, what is catching your eye right here? We saw some video games in the back. <laughs> okay, 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 but... Uh, um, I saw some Supernaturals in the, ooh, in the case. Okay, so. okay, so you've been looking around a lot, uh, a lot harder than me already. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't waste time. Eh? Wow, oh, we got corpse <laughs> figures right here. I love these. Yeah. This is what, what I used to get as a kid. Yeah, these yeah. packages? Yeah, awesome. stuff like this. I, can't yeah. I, can, I cannot remember I, I mean, they had a ton of different Yeah, I know. Well. But I cannot remember this wow. form factor. Check that Pretty out. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I might actually get one of those. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go flip through them. Yeah, I definitely, I, I definitely want to get one of these. Yeah. That's that's for cool. sure. Cool. And then over here, uh, in in the counter, right over next to the manager of the universe, yeah. <laughs> playing. Look, we got some supernaturals. Yeah. Don't look at the SWAT cats because those are ones I want. <laughs> you like SWAT cats? I, I don't know. I don't know it. Would you be interested in liking SWAT cats? I'm interested in liking the SNES game. Ooh, okay. there is an SNES game of the SWAT cats, and yeah. I, that I do that's not have. True. So. The figures uh, <laughs> got some power lords. Oh, that's a wind up power lord thing in there. I've never seen that before. We got some, some Tiger Force. We got some Bionic 6 guys. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Dude, Toxic, Toxic Crusader in there. Oh, we got some Pretenders. Some awesome. Look at these basketball dudes. That looks cool. Yeah. I don't know where to look first. No. <laughs> See how I get completely distracted by just walking around here. <laughs> so, okay, let's see what we got here. We got some vehicles, we got a little Star Wars stuff. Um, a little bit newer, but I mean, it, it's all good. And we have loads of um, Motu. I can't believe like how much Motu is actually over yeah. here. Dude, we got a Bashasaurus, we got the Point Dread, we got the Battle Bones over here. A ton of these, um, you know, um, pair ups of, of He Man with the Battle Cat. And we have some of the newer stuff over here. We've got some of the classics. June or, or John, he definitely has a nose for some good Motu stuff. We got some of the Powers of Grace called Dinosaurs here. We have one of the Giants, and there's Pretty much just anything and everything Motu related in this shop. They have the Mega Negator, Megator over here. They have a Tyrannosaurus and another one into the Bionitopsis. Like this is pure madness, right? Yeah. Uh, I love the whole display over here as well with all of the Motu figures. But what I'm mainly drawn to is this thing right here. I'm just gonna time travel a bit today <laughs> and I'm gonna pull carts off of pegs aerators is something I've spoken about this in a video before but uh, I don't actually have any other figures so I'm actually gonna grab some of these the core figures off the pegs this is like traveling back to 94 yeah. and being a kid again so that's the best thing I, about I'm it. I'm gonna pick some some out that I had as a kid. I bought a couple figures from the core, Lanard core figures. Yeah, I keep saying it wrong in the video, I know, but uh, this is something I enjoyed as a kid. Of course I was into G.I. Joe, but these were way cheaper and you could get a lot more of them. The way I remember it is that we had multi-packs of these guys, but the single packs are equally cool as well. And on the back, you actually get a little bit of insight on the figure itself. I ended up picking up Whispering Willy, who has just 
the most obnoxious outfit on ever. Um, this is not a color variant I had seen before. Then we have this dude over here who appears on the card art of all these, but his backstory is just amazing. He's a former all-pro football quarterback, mathematics PhD, and an aeronautical engineer. So yeah, this guy definitely has has it going for him. Like, that was... Never saw that. I've never we seen these before. G.I. Joe's right here. Wit, slime, or what is it like? Play-Doh? Yeah. Those are the Joe's with the... Wow. With the stuffing. Lots of Joe's on card, yeah. just out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Mindbender. Oh, cool figure. Yeah. Really uh, high on the 90s colors as well. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> We got Sky Commanders on card. What? Night Creepers. He's cool. Look, he's cool. Night Creepers. Mm. He's pretty awesome. Bucky O'Hare's on card. Yeah. Hey, I'm missing a couple, but not too much. So, got some Air Raiders as well. James Bond Jr., Dick Tracy's. I always have the weak, a weak spot for Blinky. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's kind of quirky. Yeah, he's kind of cute. <laughs> I think El Negotiator isn't here. El Negator. Yeah. El Negator. El Negator. El Negator. Negator. This seems to be pretty big over here as well, like the Golden Girl stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. I mean, the figures are pretty cool. Oh. So. I love them. They're yeah. so. Uh, they're so badass. The Olympia <laughs> and Chariot. <laughs> yeah, they're more badass. Yeah. They got like tattoos and yeah. stuff and, and they have die cast. <laughs> yeah, they look oh, like yeah. Yeah. oh look at that chair the shadow and the chariot, but it's got like a dragon on it. Sweet. Take a look at that artwork on, on the shadow chariot. She looks so relaxed. That's gonna <laughs> give Disney a run for its money. <laughs> She does look really relaxed indeed. <laughs> wow. How, how long have you had this store? Uh, around two years now. How did this come about? You're a collector yourself. Well, you yeah, to obviously. Stuff? Obviously. Yeah. Um, I've been collecting like 20 years now. Okay. Like an adult collector. Yeah. Um, and um, I've been selling and, and buying lots of stuff for the last 10 years and just came naturally to open a store. <laughs> We were like, I have too much inventory. Well, I need, I need to put it into brick and mortar. I, I didn't think I had too much okay. inventory, but someone did. Okay. It's open every other Saturday? That's right. Something like that? Like, so like twice, sometimes three times a month. Okay. So we kind of have to plan, check it out on, is there a Facebook page? Is there and an Instagram. An Instagram? Yeah. And that's where they can find the dates that it's going to be open. Mm. And we're located where? We're somewhere in Norway. But. Yeah. <laughs> where is it? This is a Popskun. Okay. Um, two hours from Oslo. People usually come from Oslo when okay. I open. Oh wow. Okay. So they, they have a plan for my, my openings. Sweet. Well, I'll put that address in the link down below and I'll pin a comment because I, I don't even know how to write this. <laughs> but I'll look it up and I'll, I'll, I'll point it out for you guys. So if you are in, in Norway and want to come over to the Ronskip, then uh, yeah, just do it. I mean, great this place. I, I can't believe like how much good stuff you have like you have everything from motu tmnt ghostbusters really cool gi joe stuff and you put the actual play sets there you display it this seems to be like a lot of displaying as as if it were to be like a collector not just from a selling point well <laughs> You're, you seem to have a lot of fun here yeah with display. I do. <laughs> and um, and you you saw my gray scope yeah that's a special story around that it was um the the Top, top price in uh, the comic here in Norway. Oh, okay. That specific one. So I got a hold of it. And that. that's the comic that. I, oh, okay. So there's a little history yeah. to this thing right here. <laughs> okay. I was checking out the comic before. Yeah, you could. But in, um, in this comic, you had a contest. You had to decipher a code and, and win a Castle Grayskull. And I got in touch with the guy who won. <laughs> and he, he didn't want it anymore. He was like, okay, I'll sell. But he was really happy so, about wow. like, getting it displayed here. That's awesome. I, I, I like it. I mean, you have, well, it's in, in Norse, 
for in, in Norwegian. 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 So yeah, now you're, awesome. you're gonna have to go after that vehicle that was the second prize. Yeah, they, they had the, like yeah. six laser bolts. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm still <laughs> looking for, looking for a laser bolt for my personal collection. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So we, to find we know who won that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get, get in touch. Oh, I love that it has a story yeah. like that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, it does. Me too. Amazing. trying to locate what I need to Ooh. and as you guys know I'm always interested in finding TMNT stuff you know. <laughs> oh man I I want that you, you see what I want uh, I think I see what you want yeah I, I want that <laughs> yeah these are all of the uh, little minis and this is right up Maddie's alley as well <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, I really like those. TMNT Mutant Minis. These things were made in 1994 to capitalize on a success that came forth out of Bluebird Toys' Polly Pocket and Mighty Max. The little play sets, they just shrunk down the Ninja Turtles into mini mutants. And you had turtle transport combo packs, but also bodacious battle sets. And there's a couple of them over here. I already have some. But one thing that's really catching my eye is the party wagon over here. I want the van. I've been after that van. It's pretty cool. Wow. Stickers are good. They're so cool. And they all have the tiny weapons. That's, you never that's see the thing the, that, that's you always never missing. See those. Never, never. We, we, we never see the figures. Yeah. Let alone the, 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 the weapons. The little tune. Yeah. Size yeah. and everything. Yeah. Tune. That's that's a tune one. I like the shredder. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask about this. Yeah, I think Definitely. we have to ask about the whole case. Either. You, you want you want <laughs> how much for the whole case? <laughs> I think it's gonna be way, 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 way above my uh... pay grade. Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, we got there just a little too late because somebody had already reserved these little play sets. But you were over there earlier. Yeah. What were you looking at? Video games. What were you looking at? I didn't even get the chance. <laughs> you want to look at some video games? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were just playing video games? No, I was wondering. If oh, okay. If, if you could buy some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could display with the old TV. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think it got it's prices on them. So I mean, that's cool. What do we got in here? NES wise. Some Mario Bros. Oh, Robotector. Robotector. Dragon's Quest. Quest. Yeah. Uh, Simon's oh. Quest. Captain Planet. Uh -huh. This dude right here. Wow. I think this one is like a, 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 a mechanical one. I like it. Dude, check this out. He's got like glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got some keepers. We got, um, I want these two. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the tailspin wow. uh, yeah, vehicle. The tailspin yeah, tailspin vehicle. Don Carnage's vehicle with Don Carnage in it. And we got Blue Baron with the tailspin. Got some Shiraz here. Oh, Spaceship Eternia. Or Starship Eternia. <laughs> Maddie's going crazy over these, yeah. uh, these the huge only, games. The only games I see this weekend, <laughs> maybe, so... Like Centurions? Mm. You don't know what it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And remember, we were talking about Bionic Six. Yeah. And they have the figures right there. You should like hold one because it's also like die cast. The. Yeah. The ones. Yeah. Oh. Maybe like a loose one or yeah. like. It's crazy how how heavy those are. Wow. They're even more heavy than the one. Uh, yeah, the Super because, Sentai. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You, when you get that to do the hit, you. <laughs> yeah, I think stay, so. Stay to the hospital. <laughs> you win the battle. Yeah, you win the battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you win the battle. <laughs> this store is simply amazing. Love it. Love the displaying. Yeah. Love just the, the things they're offering here. Okay, so I picked out a couple things from the cool. Shelving unit right there. I got the aerators. I got these two corpse 
action figures, which are insane. Maybe there's something still in here I need. Let's have a little look. Ooh, I actually need a Baroness. She's not complete, she's, she's missing. She's not complete? Okay. Um, mm, Probably not a good purchase. Mm, I don't know. You're not really trying to sell it, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's just being an honest yeah, collector. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can point you to good good purchase. Of course, you have all you have enough uh, uh, Tiger Force strikeouts. Yeah. But you travel to the United States. Yeah. Sell them there for twice the, the amount. Price. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually kind of drawn to like the little spin figure over there. Yeah. The Power Lords thing. Yeah. That just looks so quirky. Grip Dog, right? Yeah, Grip Dog is, is the. Oh man, I didn't even know they made stuff like this for that line. Yeah, I was not expecting to find something like this, but it looks so quirky that I just needed to pick it up. 200 krona on that. Okay. Pay now and worry about it later. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the, the Battle Beast on card? It's um, it's not a good card. Okay. It's got a lot of like pinholes around it. Well, that's gonna affect the price. Yeah, I guess it's um, <laughs> it displays nicely, but look at it, look at this. Uh, here. Okay. Yeah, it seems to. Have been... But it is, it is the Rocky Rhino. That's like true. 1500. Now, what we have to keep in account is that they work with Krona over here. I'm still counting in euros, so I have to kind of like measure out like how much is this stuff gonna cost me. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna pass on that. I mean, we need some money for the convention, yeah. right? Yeah. Ah, I just love these. You love those oh, basketballers, okay. don't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they just look so cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and okay. I think they should actually the balls. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Well, I think I think this is this is gonna be uh, the purchase right here. So uh, let's let's make that happen. And, uh, I want to thank you so much for having us over. Cool store, man. We need a store like this in Belgium. We do. Can you, can you, can you move to Belgium? Yeah, with store? move to Belgium, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun. Uh, he told me he gets a lot of kids in. Uh, does fun to, Trying to stuff. get the new generation. Yeah, the new well. genera generation into it. I like it very much. So, yeah, and some cool, cool inventory. Yeah, definitely. And taken care of, like with love. Huh? This has been super fun. So guys, be sure to subscribe and come over to the shop if you're ever in Norway. And uh, we got tons of fun stuff. Patreon, t-shirts. You can you see Madi doing vlogs and stuff. And uh, see you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay. Me and Maddie, we definitely had an amazing time at Roomskip, and I think we got away with some great stuff. I'm super excited for tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna head out to the Norwegian Toy Con, and you get to come along too if you subscribe to the channel for more 80s and 90s toy videos. If you'd like to do more, you can always support us on Patreon or buy a t shirt in the Teespring link down below. So that's gonna be it for this episode. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Romskip. Definitely go and check them out on social media. And I hope to see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.